Okay. I just <laughs> made this video, and I'm going to remake it. I'm going to make it the right way. So I apologize for what you have no idea. It doesn't matter. It just didn't do a great job, and it's worth doing right. So uh, let's do this. Let's take some functions. Let's, let's use some basic differentiation rules to find the derivative of some functions, Rem remembering that to take a derivative is to find the slope at a point. Um, so let's take the first function. Let's say that f of x is equal to 2 over x. And we look through our arsenal of, of differentiation tools, and none of them seem to answer this. Uh, I have had people say, oh, isn't this the quotient rule? No, this really isn't the quotient rule. Um, so what you have to figure out in calculus is how to get a good rewrite, to write this into a form that you can better recognize. So that's what we're going to do here. We're going to rewrite before differentiation. So all I'm going to say suggest to you is, isn't this true? Isn't it true that f of x is actually the same as 2? times x to the negative 1 power. And if you have any problem with converting negative exponents, please watch my video on negative exponents because I think it will really cover this topic much better than I could cover it in this short time. So, but from here, I'm going to use this, and I'm going to say that this is, going to, this is our constant multiple, right? This is our constant multiple. So what we want here is this. We're looking for dy dx, the derivative of y with respect to x, and dy dx is, well, it's d dx. It's the derivative of 2x to the negative 1. But I can, heck, I could do that better, right? I, I could do that much better, as I can pull that constant multiple out. And so here's x to the negative 1. This 2 right here is a constant multiple. It's just going to go to here. There's that 2. Um, look up your rule of constant multiples, and this should be pretty quick. Now we can just differentiate here. And from here, all we have to do is say that this is true. Remember, we're looking for dy dx. It's this negative 1 right here. So we look at your, con at, your, at your power rule, and it says we take the exponent, we multiply it by the number out in front, and then we reduce this by 1. So what does that look like? Well, we have negative 1 times 2 is negative 2, isn't it? x it's x to the negative 1 minus 1, and negative 1 minus 1 is negative 2, isn't it? So dy dx, our derivative, is equal to negative 2 over x squared. Remember, negative exponent. Uh, we would take the reciprocal here. Please watch the video that I referred to just a couple minutes ago. I think it would be more, more help. Let's try a couple more. Let's take this one, if you don't mind. Let's take um, f of t. We're going to find the derivative of f of t, and we'll say f of t is equal to 4t squared over 5. And what I want you to notice here, always thinking about doing a rewrite, here's my 4 over 5. And what I'm asking you to think, can you see that this is the constant multiple? So this is the constant multiple right here. So what I'm going to say here is that f prime at t, the derivative, is the same as 4 fifths t. Ooh, it's not, that's not true. Is dt, right? So f prime at t, the, the derivative of this, is the derivative of this thing. All I've done here is rewritten this. So now I'm just going to start taking that derivative here, right? f prime at t, same thing. We, we agree that we are going to do. We're going to take this 2. We're going to multiply it here. So is equal to 8 over 5. That's this 5 right here. We're going to decrement the exponent by 1. So this becomes t to the 2 minus 1 power, which is just t, isn't it? And there's our derivative. So not bad, right? The, uh, this next one looks horrible, but when you see how easily it can be done, you'll see the power of being able to do good rewrites. So what we're going to say here is this, that our function y is equal to 2 times the square root of x. And what we want is dy dx, the derivative with respect to x. And can you see how there's a rewrite here? Well, one thing that we have to remember here is that this has an index of 2, doesn't it? And this is x to the first power. And I did, a, I think, a really good video on rational exponents because that's what we're going to convert this into. So isn't it true that we have, that we want 
ddx of 2x to the 1 half. All I did was rewrite this. This 1 half I got from right here, right? And now I'm going to start to take that derivative here, and we're going to do 1 half here times this 2 is 1, isn't it? So let's show it to you really quick. This took this times that, and 1 half times 2 is 1, isn't it? So just to show you where I'm getting all this from, so there's that 1 right here, right? Then x to the 1 half minus 1. Remember, it's going to be minus 1. The way I do my 1 here is this. I say, remember that 1 is the same as 2 over 2. So 1 half minus 2 halves is x to the negative 1 half. Forgive me for putting this 1 here, but I just wanted you to see where that all came from. And now, of course, we would take this and flip it over to cure this negative exponent. And we can say with some certainty that y prime is equal to 1 over square root. And I did. I moved this back out of rational exponential form into radical form. Again, check the video. Um, I think that should be good, and I, I hope that that made some difference. I'm really very interested in hearing your comments on, on if this made any difference for you. So good work. Keep studying. This can definitely be done. You'll see very soon you're going to be great at calculus. So.